What up, cum dumpsters? JJ back here. This time I give you a free play for Tuesday, June 11th. It's going to be the Cleveland Indians versus the Cincinnati Reds. Trevor Bauer versus Luis Castillo. Seeing the line right now, Indians minus 118. The total is 8.5. All right, so we grab a win on Sunday night. Baseball with uh, the Cubs first five minus a half. If you cracked this at open, which would have been quite early, um, you would have seen about minus 112. That was the best price I saw in Jersey, and I leverage multiple sports books out here. Uh, by the way, this line did close at minus 135, so as long as you got in early enough, you would have definitely gotten a better price than that. Uh, this moves the channel to 38 and 19 in MLB and 7 and 1 on Sunday nights. As you all know, though, the gloating and chest pounding, it's not my thing. But needless to say, it is good to grab a few wins here in a row. Um, but we move forward without, you know, all that nonsense. Now, I know many of you have requested to get more of my father on here. And after some begging and pleading on my end, he did oblige. Uh, for the very near future, and I say near future because he could be a bit of a head case, he will be doing videos on, he will be doing his Whip It Out Wednesday videos and his Facts Man Friday videos. These will be released on Tuesday nights and Thursday nights, uh, again with a free play for Wednesday and Friday. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm sure you all will enjoy uh, the extra videos on this channel from him. Speaking of my dad, you guys know him and how wacky he is. Uh, that's only a small piece to the loony bin that's this entire family. I'll slowly get you. I'll slowly get you introduced to the entire gang uh, through these videos. But uh, next up on my list is my oldest brother. Uh, it's on my mom's side. Uh, my mom is quite the character herself, but uh, another time in another place. So I met up with my oldest brother this weekend, and holy shit, what a nutcase! Uh, so he lost 15 pounds and, and looks great, sure, whatever. But um, he's now become one of those people who's dropped a few lbs and and now needs feels the need to judge everybody else, myself included, on, on what they eat and, and what their you know workout routines are. Uh, these people are the absolute worst. We were at a diner local to my house, and I order a chicken Caesar wrap on whole wheat. And he goes to me, how do you even know that this diner uses legitimate whole wheat in their tortilla wraps versus dyeing white flour to make it look like whole wheat? I'm like, what the fuck did you just say to me? He's like, I'm serious. Like, how do you truly know? The guy reads one book on nutrition called The China Study, which, by the way, was a book I told him to read uh, as he became, you know, somewhat obsessed with what he was eating and his nutrition. That's a great book, by the way, if you are someone who is following or trying to follow more nutrition. Uh, it's a good book, but do not obsess over what you read from that book like uh, this invalid has. Now, uh, this smarty tarty, when he was younger and was asked in school what he wanted to be when he grew up, he said, I want to grow up to become an ice cream truck. Not the driver, the ice cream truck itself. Um, yeah, I didn't misspeak there. Like some kids were like, oh yeah, I want to be a doctor or someone said lawyer or someone said, I want to be a kingpin just like my dad. Um, he goes, I want to be an ice cream truck when I grow up. The teacher had to call my mom to confirm everything was all right with my brother. Uh, this is also the same kid who after watching Superman when he was younger, threw a cape on and jumped off the second floor staircase right into the glass door. Needed 35 stitches to fix his face and broke two ribs. You know, just based off this alone, that he absolutely crushed his, his SATs in high school. Um, anyway, that's what we're dealing with here. So I told him, if he so much as implies what I'm eating isn't up to his new standards, I'll fucking waterboard his ass. Moral of the story, my brother's an idiot who lost 15 pounds, probably from doing cocaine, and now decides he's going to judge everyone, myself included, on what they eat as if he just finished a few months from The Biggest Loser. Relax, Slim Shady. Back the fuck up and stay in your damn lane. All right, on to the play here. What a marquee matchup here between two studs in Bauer and Castillo. Now, the play here is going to be the Cleveland Indians minus 118. I looked at a bunch of factors here, and I understand Castillo only has one loss this year and rocks that robust 2.26 ERA with advanced numbers that somewhat back him up as well. But he draws a team with very hot bats here. Uh, Cleveland appears to have finally found their stride. Over their last six games, there's only one team in baseball uh, that's averaged more runs than them, and that's the Seattle Mariners, who, who by the way, have, have 20 home runs in, over their last seven games. Cleveland, though, has 17 home runs over their last six. Uh, nearly swept the Yankees. Uh, just last week, Cleveland got matched up against the Twins with Bauer versus Berrios, and the line was tried minus 120. Uh, this was against the best team in baseball right now, and the Reds are not even close to that. And Berrios is a comparable arm to Castillo, so 
I, you know, once uh, 118 uh, seems not just light, it seems very light in this spot. Now, Bauer struggled recently, but I'll tell you, Castillo was recently himself is having a severe walk problem. Um, his ERA over the month of May was over four, which is much higher than what it was all year. So you can tell he's kind of starting, starting to begin to struggle. And uh, he's averaging over three walks per start over his last six. If his control becomes a problem here, I would expect these hot Cleveland bats to take advantage as such. Um, I would also expect a decent showing from Bauer as well, as he draws a Reds team who's 29th in baseball and OPS over their last seven days. They're really struggling to play runs. Losers of 5 of 7 as well. They've scored more than four runs zero times over the last seven and scored two runs or less five times, most of which of these were against hittable pitchers um, with below-average bullpens, so kind of surprising there. Speaking of bullpens, the Tribe has the best bullpen in baseball. Uh, and the Reds, you know, are too far behind, but if the Indians do have a lead, uh, you know, they have the best best closeout uh, arms in baseball to to shut this down. All in all, I feel like we got a shortened line here due to some bias on last starts. I know I say this often, but this does happen, I think, more than, than people realize. Castillo's coming off a good win, and Bauer's coming off a tough loss. Uh, this is known to leave a bad taste in people's mouths um, and definitely impact their betting strategies. If we can all agree that both pitchers, when they have their best stuff, uh, have truly no edge either way. Like you wouldn't re wouldn't really be able to decide between either if both are, are really pitching their best game. Then you throw in the big advantage that the Cleveland Bats have, especially recently. Um, the bullpen's better with Cleveland as well, and the game will be played in Cleveland. All this considered, I have this line capped at minus 130, so I will take the 12 cents in our favor here. It's not major, but still certainly enough to warrant an edge. I do believe this line as is will see two-way money. I think the public, you know, maybe back in Cleveland, Sharps, Somewhat may back Cincinnati. You'll have some sharps that back Cleveland. I just think this, with the way the pricing is on this on this game, I think you're going to say two, I think you're going to see two way action regardless. Um, I wouldn't be I, I, actually I would be shocked if this line moved above 135 in favor of Cleveland, and I'd be shocked if Cleveland became an underdog. I think I think this line is going to uh, wind up staying somewhere between 110 and 130, uh, with money again coming in from both sides. Again though, the play will be the Indians minus 118 behind Bauer versus the Reds and Castillo. Want to thank you all for watching this video. As always, if you liked the video, thumbs the fuck up. If you did not enjoy the video, I hope you get covered by a swarm of fire ants. Please drop comments below. Um, you guys know I love I love interacting with you guys with the back and forth. You can tell me who you're betting. Uh, ask me some ask me for some of my leans, or you know tell me you can't stand me and you hope I, I drink rat poison. Either way, it's all uh, it's all fair game in this safe place. I will post a second play on my Twitter to round out the day, so be sure to follow me there if you are not already. That's at Sports with Facts. The link's in the description. Uh, there will be a video tomorrow night from the Pops for Whip It Out Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. Thanks again, everyone, and I will be back soon.